Himalaya's chosen hero. The goddess's original white knight has been the subject of debate and secrecy since the advent of Skyward Sword. HMK is here to break down and perhaps shed some light, hectic light, on this fascinating subject. Many believe him to be the original Link, while others believe him to be a hero that simply embodies the spirit of unbreakable will and courage that dwells within all Links afterwards. But I have some very interesting ideas on exactly who this mysterious warrior may be. As a start, I would like to talk about the hero in the Skyward Sword manga, otherwise known as Link 1. In this manga, this hero would act as Skyward Sword Link's precursor, a powerful knight of the land of Hylia that was chosen by the goddess herself to wield and reforge the Master Sword in order to stand against the demons. This Link will also act as the legendary Red Loftwing's eternal rider. Sadly, Link 1 is fatally stricken in battle against Demise before he was able to send Skyloft Skyward. He dies as Hylia seals Demise and is then revealed that Hylia caused the events surrounding his painful past in order to temper his spirit to become the champion that she needed. Hylia then promises to have his spirit reborn along with her own so that they can be bound together forever, leading to the events of Skyward Sword. This is all well and good, but however, this manga was never confirmed as canon and was created by Akira Hamakawa, who are known for creating other non-canon Legend of Zelda manga. So yeah, no. Now that that's declared, it is still possible that a similar story can surround Hylia's chosen hero. Possibly, but I've got a wicked theory that has to do with subjects within the game itself and that might tell us exactly who it is. Now Hylia's chosen hero is only mentioned in the beginning of the game as the person who received the original sailcloth blessing from the goddess which is why Skylofters do the ceremony of the goddess every year. Now, remember that sailcloth! Later on in the game, you can acquire the legendary Hylian shield from Lenaru. Now, Lenaru states that he was guarding the shield for someone worthy of using the shield, but it is still unknown who or what created the shield exactly. The shield is adorned with a red bird that has been confirmed to be Link's red loftwing. Hmm, how can a shield like that exist and be given to Link? Well, here we go. Remember, Zelda is a reincarnation of Hylia, so Zelda is Hylia herself. And Zelda gave the sailcloth to Link, who was chosen to be the hero by fate and Zelda. See where I'm driving at? Link went back in time to the distant past in order to save Zelda and strike down Demise. So that would mean Link from Skyward Sword isn't a successor at all, and that he may be THE original hero. Think about it, he has the original sailcloth, he was the one the legend spoke of all along. He went to the past to become the legend himself. That would explain the shield, the sailcloth, and the ceremony. Remember, in the game, Link goes through more trials than any other Link in the series in order to temper his spirit and become the first person to successfully use the entire Triforce. Skyward Sword Link created the spirit of the hero, as Demise bounced his curse to that Link particularly. There was no original knight before Skyward Sword Link, as Demise himself doesn't reference any other knight before him, simply calling Link Hylia's chosen knight, not next chosen knight or new chosen knight. Now of course, a lot of surrounding aspects of this theory would be very confusing to slim down due to the fact of time travel and cause and effect incorporation, but when singled down to key points, this theory may very well be fact. Link is the only one to defeat Demise purely and early, 
twice in two different time periods. With Demise's defeat in the past, that event is the legend that was passed down and told in Skyloft, resulting in many of the destined events. So guys, as always, what'd you think about the theory? Leave your comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. Don't worry, I read them. And don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. So, until the next theory or the next Legend of Zelda video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.